I actually think this is a kind of hard question for a number four, which is supposed to be relatively easy, even in the hard module. It's just, it's kind of tedious. Maybe there's some easy way to get this that I'm not noticing. Um, but, you know, it, it's basically just asking for a point, right, on this thing. So the four is the y coordinate. So we're kind of looking for the point that's right here. And we can kind of go down and try to estimate it. It's definitely three something. But if you start turning all of these fractions into decimals, you see that, uh, you know, they're also kind of three something. So it would be hard to estimate it, right? Seven halves, for example, is 3.5. 26 sevenths is 3.714. So like, I don't really know, 24 sevenths is 3.4. Like, am I really going to be able to see this kind of difference? Um, no. So I'm going to have to use algebra here. Um, so it's a line. What I would naturally do is just be like, all right, y equals mx plus b, that's kind of my go-to. The, the b is very obvious here, that's the y-intercept, so that's seven. And then uh, because of the way I'm gonna solve this, I don't need to get all fancy with the slope. Um, I'm just gonna do rise over run. I can tell that since there's only two points that are really like known for sure, I'm just gonna use those two points. So the slope is gonna be down seven, right? Going from positive seven down to the axis is down seven and then a run of plus eight. So I can't reduce that anyway. But even if I could, I don't necessarily need to because my calculator is gonna let me kind of just deal with whatever I got, I've got. So that would be the equation of the line. And I could just plug in the, the four, so I'm gonna do that and I'll show you the calculator way in a second. Um, but uh, we've got four is the um, x coordinate, or the y coordinate, so negative seven eighths times x plus seven. So now I'm just gonna solve for x. So minus seven, minus seven, so that's negative three is equal to negative seven eighths times x. And then I'm going to multiply both by the reciprocal, so eight over negative seven. It's getting a little smushed here, negative seven. So we get negative 24 over negative seven, which is just 24 sevenths, which is choice C, which is the answer. I think the algebra is pretty fast here, but just in case it helps you, we could do some stuff with the calculator. Um, what I've done here is I've put that equation into the, the y equals part here. And if you are clever, you can kind of like hold your finger, and I'm using my iPad here to just like trace the point. And I could try to find where is y equal to four, right? So the problem, is you can't really get there. Maybe you can if you're really patient, right? 3.99, that's an X of 3.44. So I could try to like say, okay, 3.44, that's pretty close to C, which was 3.43. So maybe that's it. But I still feel like I'm estimating. Another possibility and a feature you might not know about is um, when we graph these things in the Desmos, we also get the ability to have a chart of points. So if I hit the little gear um, above it, um, I have the ability to kind of see there's this little like chart logo right to the right of my equation. So if I click that, it's going to add the chart. And what happens is you can control the X coordinates. I don't think you can, yeah, you can't change the Y coordinates, but you can control the X one. So it gives you a couple to start. Uh, I'm going to scroll down though and kind of go to an empty box here. And at this point, again, if I didn't know the answer, I could just try these, right? Because these D's uh, these are supposed to be the x coordinates. So I could just try one out. So I could do seven halves, seven divided by two, right? And that gives me a y coordinate of 3.9375, but it's supposed to be four exactly. So that doesn't work. So, okay, let's get rid of that. Let's do another one. Let's just do the right answer. 24 divided by seven, and you can see it gives you four exactly. Um, I think that's a lot of buttons and a lot of clicking and a lot of entering just for something that is actually pretty smooth with algebra, and though if you're not good with algebra, maybe this is safer. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware of how this works because maybe there will be a question at some other point on another test where knowing that this chart exists is actually really, really helpful. So um, just know that it's part of this. You know, the, the I'll make more lessons about how to use Desmos, but um, this is a feature that is there. I don't use it myself very often because a lot of times you're just plugging points in naturally and with a calculator, uh, a normal calculator, it's pretty easy, but it exists and maybe there will be a case where it really saves you the points.